What's up YouTube, it's Ted Uga. Just wanted to make my post-fight video analysis for the Arthur Abraham versus Andre Ward fight that uh, occurred yesterday at the uh, Home Depot Center at, in uh, Los Angeles. Um, the fight was uh, pretty good starting off. Uh, both guys were kind of feeling each other out. And then uh, Andre Ward was winning the uh, maybe the first round, the second round, but by the third round, uh, you can see that Arthur Abraham was stepping up his game through some really good shots, a couple of really good jabs that actually uh, got uh, Andre Ward off balance. And uh, it looked like uh, Arthur Abraham might uh, step up his game and really do better in the later rounds. But uh, he, he started slowing down like around the fifth round and he wasn't throwing punches like I predicted he wouldn't. He got into his... Uh, Joshua Clotty defensive shell and uh, just was waiting for an opening to punch and instead of trying to create openings for himself so he couldn't he couldn't time uh, Andre Ward at all and Andre War, uh, Ward the champion heart that he has that mentality that he has he just he just really started giving it to him like Carl Frotch was uh, beating um, Arthur Abraham as well he kinda took a page from that book and just started unwinding co uh, combos to keep uh, Arthur Abraham into this position and not throwing punches and uh, you know after like the sixth or seventh round the fight pretty much went downhill got pretty boring um, I was screaming at the TV the whole time I wanted Arthur Abraham I always like going for the underdog I knew Andre Ward was gonna win but um, I wanted him to start opening up and start throwing some punches and uh, cutting the ring off better he just wasn't doing anything um, Boxers, I don't know why they uh, the trainers don't. Maybe they do, and they just don't listen or whatever. But uh, when the boxer is circling, you know, around, you can't just follow him in that same path that he's going around. You have to cut the ring off and try to, you know, uh, trap him into a corner so you can unwind your combos and uh, make openings for yourself. You can't just keep following around a quicker, longer, faster uh, guy. Uh, in your turtle shell defense hoping that he'll just stand there for one second so that you can punch him and knock him out it's just not gonna happen uh, this fight was at 168 um, I don't see any reason for uh, Arthur Abraham to stay in this weight division he needs to definitely go back down to 160 maybe even like 154 challenge like Sergio Martinez or something like that these uh, 168 and up guys are they're, they're too much for Arthur Abraham he just doesn't have that height and uh, he doesn't have the body or the speed or the power to really contend with these guys. But anyway, um, Arthur Ab uh, Andre Ward, rather, he is advancing to the championship of the Super 6 tournament. Um, next up on that tournament is Carl Frotch and Glenn Johnson. And I see Carl Frotch just spanking Glenn Johnson pretty badly. Probably going to win by TKO or KO. Uh, in the mid to later rounds. Um, I have no... Uh, I give no chance to Glenn Johnson to beat Carl Frotch. Carl Frotch is a machine and it's gonna go down to Andre Ward and Carl Frotch and uh, that's gonna be a really exciting fight, really exciting fight uh, and then I actually have Carl Frotch winning the whole tournament but we'll see how he looks like in the Glenn Johnson fight before I do my prediction. But anyway, that was a post-fight uh, analysis for the uh, fight that occurred last night between Andre Ward and Arthur Abraham. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Ted Aruga. Peace. Good evening. This is my post-fight video for the, uh, the, the one fight that they had yesterday with those two guys. <laughs> Good evening, this is Ted Wuga, and I wanted to give you guys a post-fight video production of my video production. Oh, shit. What am I doing again?